So if you guys want to see one of the dopest faces in New York, definitely hit that. 100%. That being said, this set is going to be Corrin versus Zelda. This matchup was a trip in Smash 4 for Zelda. She had nothing that could deal with Corrin's range, but they made her a character. So I want to see how it plays out. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a lot of matchups in um, Smash 4 was tragic for Zelda. Yeah. But um, she has a, a couple more buffs. Just like, like we're seeing, she can throw out the Phantom. Whenever she wants, like she could call it, she could hold it, um, she could stagger her attacks with it, like a lot of tools, man. Yeah. The only problem I have is that she can't actually act during the beginning of Phantom Charge. The only time she can act is when she puts out full Phantom. Aside from that, she always has to send it out early. Um, uh, to my knowledge, <laughs> I yeah. could be wrong about that. Zelda players, please do prove me wrong. That'd be sick if <laughs> that wasn't the case. Yeah. Uh, but right now, yo, we got an even game right, you know. So, yep. oh, and <laughs> I love, I love that Corn could just drop that, drop that um pin because she could keep pressure on the ledge. Where sometimes she would have to alleviate it by jumping, oh, oh, by jumping or just yeah. swiping away. Yeah. So a little bit too floaty to find that corner punish. Very nice. See a lot of these phantoms coming out by hungry. Just trying to just trying to keep him in the corner and he forced that jump. That was straight up because he couldn't pay attention to everything on the screen. I'm not gonna hold you. He didn't air dodge, he didn't do anything. Like he, he had jumped. no reaction to he that. Just yeah. jumped. It's like, oh my god, Phantom? Oh whoa. A whole other person? Nutty. Yeah man. That was almost really well timed. Ooh. He just needs to be a little bit earlier on that and he'll be fine. Oh, up B to up air. Mm -hmm. Noku just, you know, catching hungry slipping on that recovery. Very nice back air there, using the Phantom to extend her, uh, the hitbox. Yeah. Do you know the difference between, like, with the Phantom charges and why they do certain things? Because I kind of I kind of see them just doing random things. Beginning Phantom charge hits low profile. Second Phantom charge is just, like, a quick punch. Uh, the frame data changes on when they come out, based on which one you do. And the power and angle. E pretty much everything changes. Pretty okay. wild move. It's a charge move, basically. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. There are like, I believe there are like five or six phases of wow. Phantom. That's yeah. That's one. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That was, the, I don't know if he was doing that just to stall, but he did He did the charge, the fang shot, and then he immediately tried to counter. Probably yeah. would have been devastating if Zelda actually hit. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Forward air, not connecting. Uh, too many rolls coming out of R Hungry. He's got to be careful with that staling. He got caught for it. Very nice timing on that Phantom, though. Ooh, and I think, okay, so I think these Phantoms um, are hurting Hungry a little bit because I think Noku is, try is catching on to the pacing of these Phantoms. Yes. And he's, you know, he's closing space on Hungry. And he could, you know, he could, eat, he could eat something pretty heavy if he's not careful. Yeah, Corrin honestly. Has a lot of range. Yeah, the biggest problem is, like, not only does Corrin have a lot of range, her two core approach tools, Nair and Fair, uh, aside from Pin, of course, are both moves that send you up for combos. And you're going to take a lot of damage from her. Damage amplification in this game overall, you find yourself in the wrong spot versus Corrin, you take a COM 40 off of one conversion. Yeah. But, you know, um, Hungry taking that suck, and now he has Noku at 43%. Um, so let's see if maybe Hungry could either extend this lead or Noku get something started again. Okay. All right, applying that corner pressure. Very nice, gets the job. Gentleman would have killed, but it's fine. Yeah, that, that was the punch one I was talking about. Nice yeah, up air. And Noku, and Noku at the ledge, he, ha he hasn't really been doing a lot at the ledge because he's been using pin and then dropping it. And yeah. like, although that is a good option, if you use it too much, the opponent could try to catch on to it. Yeah, that was sick. What? The coverage. The coverage. Don't yeah. mash out of the corner. Just wait your turn. He's you know, he's baiting really hard with those phantoms, and Noku's taking the bait hard. Yeah, absolutely. He's And it's funny because I was talking to uh, Max Ketchum earlier today about this a little bit. Projectile is kind of used to condition jump pretty universally. It's how it's always worked in fighting games. Um, some people have a different reaction, of course. But the way Hungry is using uh, his phantom, not only is he hard conditioning jump, Noku has a bit of a jump habit already to begin with, so he's catching jumps in situations that, like, he really shouldn't be jumping at all, but he's just doing it as a defensive habit. Yeah, and I, I just think uh, he's not used to, like, the Phantom coming out. Because if, you know, if you're noticing, the Phantom does take a little bit, the full, fully charged Phantom does take a little bit to leave Zelda. Yes. So he probably could have had time to maybe stay on ledge, or maybe just stand or get up on ledge and see what happens. He didn't have to jump. Absolutely. Oh. If you learn the timing, you should just be parrying Phantom IMO. Yeah. 
but um, right now... That's an unfortunate SC. He thought he had his jump, but he double jumped off of, I believe, platform. Yeah, it was really awkward, because I was expecting him, like, oh, yeah, he's definitely going to get back, but not enough range. Um, Here's the tech chase. Good pressure. Noki's going to get out of there. Hold center stage. Very nice. Yeah, right now, um, Arhunger's on the other side setting up a strap, but Noku not having to approach because he's in the lead. He's just sitting back and waiting for Hungry to, to come towards him. Mm -hmm. And now let's see what he does at the corner now. Yeah, he's done pin almost every single time. Yes. In the past two games, hasn't really gotten a lot of it. Careful with that, man. <laughs> you now, have to watch that timing. That could have been the time he jumped. Exactly. <laughs> but, like, even, I, I don't know, jump would have got clipped. Like, he should have just neutral get up with better timing there for sure. Or I does, can't hold does it. Does it, it, it looks hard. Does a hippo? Does a hippo ledge fully charge phantom? Yes. It does hippo ledge. Switches. Okay. Okay. Just for clarification. Yeah. Okay. You know, good early recovery. Yep. Could have took a harder punish going downwards. Nice. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. He straight up did that because he has Corrin experience. He knew exactly where to tag the up B so that he wouldn't get hit himself in trade. Mm -hmm. And Noka nice. and Noka went high the first time, but uh, <laughs> did not do it the second time. Yeah, absolutely not. And by the time he'd gone low, he just gave Hungry time to react. Okay. And okay. Now good. Now that was a good drop by uh, Noku. Just keeping pressure on Zelda. Very nice. Covers his ledge. Oh, and the hit lag. The hit lag from the Nair hitting on the Phantom stopped him from getting that tech chase. Really. Wow. He low profiled with landing fair. That was actually nutty if he did that intentionally. Might have just been mashing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but good trade, man. Yeah. Um, okay, so very manageable on Noku's part. Um, very, very much manageable, especially with Korn's skill power. Honestly, I wanted to see him lightning kick off that phantom. Call me crazy. Okay, good fair train. Nice. Good fair, fair good up there. That's a calm 53. This yeah. character's damage is nutty. Don't jump. Ooh, okay. So I, I like, nice. I like because he, he kind of measured out that um, the near, near distance. Nice. Yeah, he's just catching all of Noku's Yeah, approaches. and that hit below ledge, just like you said. Yep. I think I think Noku wanted to try out staying on the ledge and seeing what would happen. And then, yeah. uh, you got a lot, it. Of, a lot of stuff with Phantom there that was definitely easily, easily, easily telltale signs of him not knowing this matchup. Yeah. Like, I would not hold that against him you know, super not hard. Like he, we, bro, week two? Yeah. 